welcome to a brief clip from this week's GameSpot of Thrones. If you'd like to watch the full episode, head over to youtube.com slash GameSpot, but please be aware of spoilers. So we know that episode 10 is Cersei's trial. Mm. So trial by combat, Clegane Bowl, has been ruled out. Mm -hmm. But we hear the High Sparrow say, are you prepared to stand trial and profess your guilt or innocence before the Seven? Yeah. So they're in the Sept of Baelor. And there is wildfire up in there. There is. We also get a look at Sir Loras. Mm -hmm. He's gone at his pretty curls. Yeah. He's looking pretty beat. Yeah. He also looks like he's going to crack. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to flip on anyone and everyone. Mm -hmm. So So this next scene's pretty interesting. So next episode is called The Winds of Winter. And this is a white raven. So this is what the maesters send to signal the season has changed. Why, why do they need to do that? Just like look outside. Because they're like, you know, really important weathermen and they need to tell everyone. But so the season's officially changing. Mm -hmm. Winter is coming. Well, All technically right. winter's here. Yeah. Um, but then we have Sansa and Jon and they don't seem to be getting on. Mm. Are they getting on or? I, I, what I saw was like them fortifying their new relationship. It seemed to be John doing that. But yeah. Sansa seemed to be very hesitant. I mean, the thing is like... Little fingers back in in the action now, mm -hmm. and there is a scene later on where they're talking. I think this might be a situation where they're creating a new allegiance to kind of get to scheme in together. Unless it seems like Sansa's making an allegiance with both of them, and they're not really all three of mm. them talking. Yeah, maybe it would be quite interesting. Um, but then we get quite a quite an unusual scene. Jamie is in uh, the twins with the phrase. So we thought that after he'd secured River Run, he would just hop, skip, and jump right back to King's Landing mm -hmm. to be with his beloved Cersei. But no, he's gone to see Walder Frey. For some reason. For some reason. And the Walder Frey says, the Freys and the Lannisters send their regards. Oh, that one cuts deep. Which doesn't sound that good. And also, I, I'm interested to see if there's any fallout from Edmure, you know, being manipulated by Jaime into mm. getting River Run back. Maybe, maybe Jaime promised that he would get revenge on the Freys. Then, as you mentioned, we've got Sansa and Littlefinger. Love is in the air. Is it? It's like forced love. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, one of them's in love. Yeah, the other one's like, I just saved your ass. You better... The other one's like, I'm not my mum, leave me alone. <laughs> and then we finally get this confrontation that I've been wanting for a long time, and that's Davos and Melisandre. Mm. And... Ugh. It, looks, it looks heated. Yeah. Davos is looking very, very upset. I mean, rightfully so. Yeah, but also, like, tell him what you did. Tell him. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, Melisandre, she could be like, yeah, I did it. She's done it before. She's like, yeah, I, I uh, popped out a demon. She looks very guilty about it, though, which is something that she's not, we're not used to seeing from mm. her. Mm. She, I mean, her, her faith has been somewhat shaken recently. But then she brought a guy back from the dead. Yeah, but she doesn't seem to be convinced that she managed it herself. Like, her yeah. power is, her, her faith in her own power seems to be waning, which could translate into a, a waning of faith in the Lord of Light. Mm. Uh, and then we have a shot of Bran. This guy again. If I don't get the damn Tower of Joy reveal, okay? This is ridiculous. You've taken Clegane Bowl away from me. Give me the Tower of Joy. I just need to know. I need to know what's in there. I mean, we already kind of know what's in there. Yeah, we know what's in there. What, do we, though? A lot of red herrings yeah, in this season. Yeah, and things are changing from the books. Um, and then we've got... Um, are you afraid? You're in the great game now, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully this means that Daenerys will get off her ass and actually get on a mm. boat. Um, I really, really hope. Also, there's a kind of weird scene where it's her and Daria Naharis, and I'm kind of wondering, yeah. is that a goodbye? Is Does he refuse to leave mm. the second son? It would be, it'd be amazing if the actual scene is that happening and then Captain Friendzone returns at that moment oh, and is like, I'm back, baby, I fixed it. Don't do this to me. I can't bear it. If he's back, he probably will return, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a guy walking. So I have um, zoomed and enhanced this. I've looked it up on uh, Google Images. That's the Sept of Baylor, uh, this door. Mm. Who is leaving? You seem to think it's... Well, no, because I thought it was Mesa Kyburn, right? Mm. Because he ha you can see a chain uh, on here, but... We were sad. We compared the haircuts. Yep. Kyburn's got a little bit of a flicking yeah. curls at the bottom. So this could be Lancel because yeah. Lancel also has chains. Chains, yeah. So... That's who I'm banging on. I wonder what his role will be if he... You know, he's seen firsthand the power of the mountain. Could he really betray Cersei again? Mm. 
I don't know. Interesting. Um, but what I want to do tomorrow, mm-hmm. I want to make some predictions okay. on what the last shot of the season is going to be. All right. So there's a few we can pick from. So King's Landing burning. Yes. Cersei goes full Eris. Yep. I think there's a good chance of that happening next episode. I also think the wall could come down. Oh, that's mm. a that's a big one. So if um, we know that Bran has basically broken the magic that kept the Night's yeah. King at bay because he got touched. God's sake, Bran. Yeah. Um, if he goes south of the wall... I think that's the best one. I think I think that's the most likely one for me because we've gotten quite thick into the politics between different houses right now mm. and it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture and I think they're going to take the opportunity to remind people actually this is all inconsequential because mm-hmm. there's this horde of frost zombies on their way. Yeah. Uh, another another thing, maybe it could be Lady Stoneheart. Mm. There, I mean, they keep saying, you know, oh, we've never had any conversations about Lady Stoneheart. She's definitely not happening, definitely not happening. Well, they said that about Jon Snow's death, okay? Yeah, they, they said that he was like, oh, yeah, he's dead. He's definitely not coming back. Mm. And look where we are now. One Lena Dam Army. Snow up. Yeah. Um, That'd so be a good one. That would be a good one. Like, you know, an, an eyes open final frame yeah. kind of thing. It's like bloodshot eyes. Uh, the, final, the final thing that I think could be the last scene. I want it to be. I want to be the last scene is the Tower of Joy but knowing Game of Thrones and knowing our luck they'll probably open the door Mm. then that'll cut there yeah